The voice of our comrades is the voice of God. Amen. The president promised us that we will we will eat chicken, but now we are eating like chicken. This will lead to nepotism. This will lead to bribery. This will lead to, to, to corruption. Comrades power. Power. Comrades power. Power. Com I mean, this is Czech TV and today tuko hapa na Kuru Town kuna makomrades wamesema wamechoka kuinama so kama government please just look at these people they have tired wamechoka uh comrades power comrades power comrades power comrades ria ah kwa majina kwa majina ni Susan Mwihaki Jenga mwanafunzi kutoka chuo kikuu cha Egerton University Njoro Nimekuja hapa kama mwakilishi wa wanafunzi wa kutoka na Kuru County walio vyo vikuu that is the tivets and the colleges and universities in our country. We are here to lament our issues and to see the way forward whether the government is going to address the issues we are facing as comrades. Uh, we have seen what the head of state said uh, sometimes this week. The scrapping off of help. We are asking is the scrapping of help the solution to the issues of lack of school fees in the higher institutions? Or is the introduction of the new system going to solve any issue? The reason is, initially, when the program was there, was funded by help, COOPS, every student who managed to get a C plus and above was eligible to get help funding. That is the minimum of 40,000 and the maximum of 60,000. Every student was eligible and there was a chance that they will get the funding. Now the new system is saying 45,000 students out of the 200,000 students who get to join the university are going to be sponsored. That is, they are going to give grants. And again, the issue of repayment of help has been a thorn to the government. We are asking, why can't the loans be made to be grants? His serikali ilituahidi kwamba tukimaliza shule vio vikuu tutapata kazi. Swali ni je, hii mikopo mnayotupa ya help italipoaje if the employment opportunities are very minimal. The students are lacking employment every day. Look around the town. They are going hungry and they are resulting to thief, being thieves, wanaiba, drugs, hawking around kutoa windshields kwa magari is this the future that we want as youths it is our time to rise up and address this issue let the government retain the help and it should not be a loan it should be made to be a grant let the government bring in scholarships initially some years back they used to pay the the students to be in the universities nowadays we are paying to be there even the government is unable to sustain the universities. The management is very poor such that they cannot afford to pay lecturers. You are making lecturers to become business people instead of them doing what they were supposed to do. That is teaching. Let the universities make their own money. Stop making money from students and from parents. Comrades! My name is Amos Simba, a student in Mount Kenya University. And my problem or my issue or my concern is that the government said, said about scrubbing private universities. Now, the issue is that those students who are currently at private universities acquire a road and they, most of them they go try semesters, that making them to complete the year or the year course very fast. They say that the government wants us to go to public universities. All of us, they want us to, to occupy there and we compressed and we become a lot of a lot of money and our question is mnataka twende public university tukae huko miaka 10 mkose kulipa lecturers tumaliza course yetu miaka 10 badala ya miaka 4 that's our concern yes thank you very much diongo amboi mount kenya university my name is michael diongo amboi mount kenya university my question is how will the government know that this student is very poor, that he deserves uh, the, high, uh, the highest percentage compared to the, the other student? I think there is a problem. And for me, uh, my idea or my, my suggestion will be we remain with the, uh, with the help that we had rather than giving us loans that we, we maybe in future will not be able to pay. We want grants, we don't want loans. Thank you very much.
we understand that the government uh, is facing uh, financial constraints. So what will happen if the help is cut off completely? What are you planning? Me come as students. Jam ta ingia mpanya maandamano ma mtacho nisome. Ah ta hatuta <laughs> sawa hata hatutaingia kwa maandamano yes kwa sababu iko maandamano iko na madhara yake but i think the government should also consider everybody and balance all student equally whether they have, they have the financial constraints education we have the right for education whether kuna pesa or the hakuna <laughs> that's what i can say for now My name is Gitiri Anonjiko, a student in Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology. I'm also the deputy president of the school. Uh, my issue is uh, about the government. How the government said that they are only going to sponsor 45 uh, 45,000 students. How um, uh, what are the measures that you are going to take so that you can identify the 45,000 students? plus the issue that you asked what will we do we are going to negotiate by uh, with the government to not going to uh, to do demonstrations because demonstrations are killing a lot of youths yeah uh, my name is daniel kiptanui president of vetsa tvet student association and my point and my point of review concerning the his excellency the president statement concerning the new funding for universities and tvets actually the president promised us that we will we will eat chicken but now we are eating like chicken first of all it's so disheartening to see that the government knows how many people are are, are vulnerable like for example they say 45 45000 students so it means only 45000 students will join campus will join tv institution leaving more than a, another 40000 student who will be away from the institution and at the end of the day we will see the 40000 student will be thieves the 40000 student will steal the 40000 student will be on the street and my point of concern what i'm going to say this we were not involved in this discussion yes. we wanted to be involved in this discussion to discuss because we are the shareholders we are the stakeholders in all these activities because the money is con it's on us and in the issue of giving us loans we don't want we don't want loans we want want it as a grant because having a loan and you don't have a job how will you pay it will you sell your life will we sell kidney will say we will sell our hearts so my point of of concern is is this The government should go back to the drawing board. Should involve us as comrades, as student leaders that we need to discuss this and this and this and this and this. Another thing I'm going to say is that the government and the institution should not increase the institution fee. The college fee, the university fee should not be increased because when you say the government is broke, what about the citizen? If the government is broke, even the citizens are are, are broke. So putting more burden on parents on student we should avoid this and we cast it because the voice of comrade is the voice of god so mr president kindly consider us and put us on on drawing board we need to discuss this again and again and again thank you so much thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah! the voice of a comrade is the voice, voice of, of god, god. Yes. amen amen na maombi It is a very good idea that the government is considering just changing the system. This is what they have been doing. Ukiona ukuta wako umebadilika unaamua wacha nipake rangi nyingine. Una try ile ya white, unapaka ya blue so that it will look new. This is the very same thing the government has been doing. Promising something and deciding that they are going to scrap something off without involving the real shareholders the education is not for the government the education is the, for the people if we don't talk today what about tomorrow what about those kids who are going to join the university in this year what are they going to do life is already hard the tax is increasing day by day i want to ask the question how parents are going to pay the school fees we are not refusing that you have come up with a good strategy We want to tell you that the strategy you have come up is very ambiguous. Ni kama ile mnaita wakati wa kuita polisi. 
you want to take to make education like the same procedure whereby you come you look at someone and you decide this person is very fit you want to look at the kenyans and decide this person is fit just because someone went to an academy in high school does not mean that they are very needy. They are, they are very able to pay for the school fees. For example, there are these students who performed very well in the previous KC, KCSE and those who performed very well in KCPE. They were called to join Alliance. They lacked school fees. Well wishers have come along and they have paid for them. Because the dream of the parent is let my kid go to a good high school so that this kid will get good marks and go to a good university so that they can achieve their dreams. Yet, you are here telling us if somebody can afford to take their kids to a private school, a very good school, wanakosaje kulipa chuo chaju, they have been through high school so that their dreams can become possible. Yet you are making this dream difficult. And this is why Francis Ibuga said, when the madness of an entire nation disturbs a solitary mind, what happens to that man? It is good to assume that the man has become mad. The nation is making the comrades look like mad people. But it is because you are refusing to consider our voices and our opinions. We wish that you are going to reconsider this and involve us as the students and the shareholders of education. Okay, apart from the issue of health, uh, many, many universities are in a PESA. Now, in a part of like, uh, students are so many people. Now, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On the same matters of education, I would like to address the issue of bursaries. For example, Nakuru County, there is a word that students in campuses were awarded 1,000 shillings. I ask again, out of the 40,000 school fees that we pay, what is 1,000 going to help with? Other constituencies are doing very well. Like, you can, you can look at Marioshoni Ward. They have been giving their students up to 10,000 of school fees. That, that is those who are in a campus level. When you give someone 1,000, surely, Madam Governor, you want to ask, is education becoming that cheap nowadays? In the universities, the, the, they are increasing the, school fees. Yet here we the, are. The, school, the schools are co collapsing. They are increasing our school fees so that they can run the universities. Look at the public universities. They have become a business endeavor. When we went to the universities, we were told, you have come here to change the world. You are here to research. Yet when they look at us, they see banks they see how they are going to sign off those checks once we pay our school fees with the money that we don't have comrade power, power. comrade power. power another thing i want to add first for all when you when now it's hard to distribute and disperse bursary how will it be possible to distribute the help loan the, the the new fund and another thing i want to say this thing, distributing this to the poor people, to the marginalized community, to the marginalized students, let me tell you one thing. This will lead to nepotism. This will lead to bribery. This will lead to, to, to corruption. So, Mr. President, kindly use, use the previous funding program, the funding operation which, which were, were, you, were being introduced earlier on. And another thing, Mr. President, kindly... Let me, let me just wait for a phone call, you invite us, we discuss this and this and this until we reach and have a final conclusion and final solution to our lives and comrades. And my, another thing, let me, let me just say this, I, we are just giving you 14 days, 14 days. Yes. 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 Maandamano haita kwa William Ruto. Maandamano ni yetu us as comrades. Yeah. Us as the majority. Us as the people. We are the people. We are the majority. So 14 days from now on, Mr. President, kindly, na members of parliament, atu kwa elect muende mukae huko hivi hivi hivi. Mudiscuss kama si hivyo 2027, out. Tuta tunyanyasa na mna hii. Hii ni apana, hii meenda hii. Apana. Okay. My, my name is Charles Mahogo, a student in Nakuru, Arvist, and I just have a question. Let's say this program they are bringing, they are bringing out, out of good faith and out of for the beneficiary of the students. But I need to just get uh, an answer on, uh, they are saying that it will be awarded to the needy students. That, no, that's nationwide. Let's talk, let's be logic here. 
there is the bursary issues ziko pale chini kabisa but still we get it benefits the rights of the villages now how sure are we that yenye ni national it is coming to uh, to kusaidia the the needy students the needy comrades how sure are we that is it okay why can't we why, why how can you stop us from seeing it it's a scheme to the, to 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 is idea uh, wale wachache wanaojiweza eh? because if ile kidogo sana ya bursaries county bursaries and wards bursaries it's being awarded to wale wenye wanajiweza katika kijiji how sure we hii yenye aita 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 saidia watoto wa my mp watoto wa governor watoto wa my ministers and all that how sure we and uh, how can you unazaje tusikiza and that's how my my fellow comrade ameuliza why were we not involved eh, in making the new decision because that's the question we are, we are supposed to those are the answers we are supposed to have but we don't because they just woke up and came up with something out of nowhere thank you Bro. my name is Muturi Shadrak from Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology and we are here to rubbish the claims made by the president that they are going to scrap help because we believe help is there to help comrades comrade pa comrade pa because saying that only 45000 students will get will benefit from help we want to ask mr president which criteria will you use to know that this comrade is needy because we believe all comrades are needy kila comrade ana inama kila comrade ana mashida zake mukieka hii pesa iko ikipatiwa wanafunzi kadhaa we are very sure it will be like bursaries itakuwa ina benefit watu ambao tunasema squeeze ni connections so take keen a look on that thank you solidarity forever yes forever <laughs> <laughs>